The low cost of operation gives more people access to aviation, even in a limited way, which saves money and saves lives. But, electric aviation can't stay unmanned forever. Fortunately, it isn't going that way. We're already seeing some electric fixed wing aircraft, like the Aviation Alice, become serious players. Plus, there's great demand for EVTOL craft, which can act like both planes and helicopters and serve human needs even in urban areas. While we aren't seeing many flying planes, we're seeing many designs emerge that have great potential. One of these companies is Archer Aviation. In a recent press release and in an article at Reuters, we're seeing some signs that it could be on its way to bringing something real to market and not just renderings. It does have some test aircraft already flying. But, Archer Aviation has much bigger plans. In just a few weeks, the company plans to introduce Midnight, its first EVTOL aircraft. The occasion will include more information about the engine specifications and abilities, FAA certification progress for Midnight, as well as other details regarding the electric powertrain system. After the preliminary design review, PDR, in August, Archer first announced Midnight. The PDR covers feasibility for all aspects of the aircraft specifications and manufacturing requirements to bring it to marketplaces. It also determines that the design would be compliant with regulations. Midnight has a payload weight of 1000 plus pounds to support four passengers and a pilot it has 12 electric propellers, six tilt props, each with five blades, for forward and VTOL flight, and six stationary propellers for VTOL-only flight, each propeller having two blades. Maker is designed to travel at up to 150 miles per hour over 60 miles. The aircraft is fully electric and powered by six independent battery packs. The company's target flights have a charging turnaround time of approximately 10 minutes, which enables Archer's Urban Air Mobility, UAM, network operating model. From day one, Archer's goal has been to build a commercially viable business that will revolutionize intra-city travel. We've made phenomenal progress in the development of our EVTOL aircraft technology and I am excited to share the aircraft that will deliver on that vision as part of our open house event, said Adam Goldstein, Archer's CEO. At the open house event in August 2022, United Airlines made a $10 million pre-delivery payment for 100 of the Midnight Aircraft. This showed further confidence in the aircraft's development. Attendees not only learned about Midnight's technical capabilities but also had the opportunity to view a test flight of Archer's full-scale technology demonstrator at its flight test facility. Notable participants of the event will be United Airlines and Stellantis, a global automotive manufacturer. Stellantis has been an integral part of Archer's EVTOL aircraft development since early on and play a vital role in Archer's plans to achieve large-scale manufacturing for their aircraft. Collaboration has always been a cornerstone of our mission, said Tom Muniz, Archer's chief operating officer. Delivering a safe, sustainable revolution in air travel will take our collective vision and expertise and I can't wait to stand alongside the Archer team next month to share how together we are bringing our long-term plans to life. 250 Air Taxis in 2025 Reuters ran an article detailing an interview with the company's CEO, in which plans were revealed, including a goal to build 250 battery electric air taxis in 2025 and increase production in the following years, after being certified by the end of 2024. In our first year, we will build 250 aircraft, our second year will build 500 aircraft, our third year will build 650 aircraft and then we scale it up to around 2,000 aircraft per year, CEO Adam Goldstein told Reuters. The company wants to get the soon-to-be-revealed Midnight certified by the end of 2024, but that's challenging to predict because the FAA is still drawing up plans for certifying that kind of aircraft. If they can do that as predicted, Archer's Midnight could be among the first.
The California-based startups Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing EVTOL, aircraft will compete in a crowded market with dozens of other developers after it is certified. Some of its main competitors include Joby Aviation Inc. and Vertical Aerospace LTD, which are also trying to reinvent the sector. This new kind of aviation, despite having the backing of big players, still faces apparent challenges like certification, air traffic management, and improving battery technology to cover more flights. For both drones and manned aircraft, these things are going to make EVTOL a tough road to hoe. Initially, Archer worked on developing aircraft with the Herbert Wertheim College of Engineering at the University of Florida, from which both Adcock and Goldstein graduated. Archer now operates a research lab on the University of Florida's campus in Gainesville, Florida, which was funded by Adcock and Goldstein. Thanks for watching, Time Hack.